In this video, we're going to take a brief look at armor thyroid and go over some situations and examples that will hopefully help you answer the question, is armor thyroid obsolete? Statements that because armor thyroid has been around a while, it's no longer effective and its use is questionable. Well, by that logic, I guess it vitamins, minerals, nutrients, aspirin, would also be obsolete or ineffective. Hear about a medicine being no longer effective, you think about maybe a resistance has developed. And there are some similarities but differences between like a hormonal resistance that may occur at the post receptor level with some signal transduction components or say an antibiotic resistance or a breast cancer drug resistance that involves some pumps that transport those chemicals outside of the cell. So the thyroid hormones we're talking about in a model therapy are the figure at the bottom, T4 thyroxine or tetraidothyronine. And since armor is a desiccated thyroid extract, it contains T4 as well as the figure at the top, T3 triiodothyronine, as well as other metabolites and constituents say that the thyroid hormone system is kind of complex in that it has multiple receptors and multiple targets of action including genomic and non-genomic pathways. The genomic activity involves the nuclear thyroid receptors and the figure at the bottom is that of a non-genomic pathway where T3, the pyramid on the left, as well as T2 represented by the diamond can target the mitochondria through non-thyroid receptor mechanisms perhaps involving G proteins or other crosstalk with kinase cascades. Smiley face is there to remind you that what some people call inactive metabolites may not be inactive. They may bind something that you weren't looking at in your experiment. Here's a hypothetical situation. What happens if you have a deficiency in the D2 deiodinase, which is involved in converting T4 to T3? In the figure, well, if you lack that conversion, then the T3 won't be able to bind to the thyroid hormone receptor, interact with the retinoid X receptor, and bind to the thyroid response element and initiate transcription. In a situation where tumor necrosis factor inhibits D2 expression or activity, if your product contains T3, you could bypass that inhibition and activate those thyroid hormone responsive pathways. In autoimmune thyroid diseases, there is some evidence from animal models that when you consume the desiccated thyroid extract because it contains other proteins like thyroglobulin that it may induce an oral tolerance. So this would mean that your autoantibodies against thyroglobulin and perhaps thyroid peroxidase may decrease when you take something like armor thyroid. This effect would not be observed with a thyroxin only treatment. So in a 2013 study comparing the desiccated thyroid extract with T4 monotherapy, 2.5 times as many patients preferred the desiccated thyroid extract to the T4 monotherapy. You should ask your physician about potential drug interactions, but according to the Medscape interaction checker, both Armour and Thyroxin could potentially interact with Coumadin. Here's a list of references used and thanks for watching.